You gotta believe that it will zip. Use your body weight. Oh. <laughs> and it always zips. <laughs> we are going back to Taiwan. <sighs> You're probably like, why would you want to put yourself through the misery of traveling overseas with little babies? It's for the love of the mother language. I grew up in Taiwan. I was there till I was 10 years old and it holds a very dear place in my heart. It has been a goal to make sure that our little ones get to experience Taiwan as much as I did. As frequently as possible. But this is a big trip. We're going to be there for about six weeks. So it's a lot of packing and a lot of preparing. And I'm not gonna lie, we were really scared to purchase these tickets. We're very lucky that we get to stay with my parents, so we don't really have to worry about lodging, but everything else, we're gonna have to try to figure out ourselves. And that's what this video is about. You'll see our entire preparation journey from beginning to the end. Just in case you're also traveling with your little ones, you won't make the same mistakes that we do. Now smash that subscribe button and let's get going. If you're flying back to Asia, you know those Asian relatives love them American chocolates. So the first thing we did was make a Costco run. It's official. It's official. We leave in one week and I'm so nervous. We made this trip about a week before taking off. And on this particular day, I had to sell a parent real hard because Lucas is a slave to corporate America. Now, you know, if you're making a Costco trip, you got to fill it up that gas. Here is proof for my husband that I'm a capable and independent woman. Also, we got the best parking spot, which is always a big bonus when shopping with babies. Speaking of shopping with babies, the easiest way I found to shop with them is by containing one in the shopping cart and containing the other one by caring. I've tried not containing Zoe to give her some independence, but when it's two on one, I ain't got the energy to be chasing her around. We went around to fill our cart up with American snacks to bring back as gifts. Then we loaded up on some wipes and some diapers, of course. And I was so proud at the end of this trip. I thought, I am cleared. This was such a successful trip to Costco with my kids, with no incidents, until we got to the parking lot. We need to talk about something. If you see a parent handling all the kids and all the groceries by themselves, you need to not wait on their parking spot. Move on, bro, because you're gonna be waiting for a long, long time. And it is a very stressful situation. Just a lot going on, the kids crying, you're trying to buckle them in, you're trying to get all the groceries in. So move on, look for another parking spot, okay? Even if it's a good parking spot, move on because you're gonna be waiting for a long time. After the Costco trip, I realized we really needed more luggage since we're traveling as a family of four for six weeks. Thankfully, July hooked us up with their classic family set, which comes with their carry-on original, Checked and Checked Plus. It's got these smooth YKK Japanese zippers that come with TSA locks, silent move double spinner wheels, and multi-step telescopic handles so you can rest it at any height you want. And just in case you plan on bringing more stuff home than you left with, each luggage in the classic family set nests perfectly within one another, just like nesting dolls do. On top of all these cool features, look what else we found while unboxing our July luggage. <gasps> what is that? It's a charger. For like... Your phone? Uh-uh. <laughs> it's a power bank. <laughs> it's a power bank? What in the world? So we have to make sure this is fully charged. Here it is. Unreal. Unreal. <laughs> okay, back to packing. First thing I wanted to double and triple make sure we don't forget were electronics because that's one thing that's not cheaper in Asia. So if we forgot something, it won't be easy to find a replacement. And that includes our split screen video monitor from BabySense, which allows you to connect up to four cameras at once and requires no Wi-Fi or app, meaning that it's totally hack proof. So no one has access to creeping in on your babies. We'll be keeping the girls in two separate rooms in Taiwan, so I knew I couldn't forget our BabySense monitor. Next up, laundry. It's setting in. I am getting so stressed. <laughs> and I'm so dirty from, from packing. There's like a lot of things that you can't pack 
until the night of like my pump our shoes our hatch night light because they need it to sleep tonight oh so i just i feel like i have all these things out but i can't put any of them in the luggage yet because we need it before we leave and our fridge is still full of stuff because we still need to eat tomorrow so i just feel like i have so much to do but i can't do anything the next day, I started with something easier. The gifts, the diapers, the wipes, things that don't require much thinking. Then we weighed our first luggage and it came in at a 47.76 pounds. But our second luggage came in at an F minus with 58 pounds. So we had to Tetris things around a bit. At a certain point, it felt like there just wasn't gonna be enough space. I'm eating because I forgot my pump. So we're gonna see if there's anywhere else we can put it. But we promised ourselves we wouldn't bring more stuff than the four of our hands can handle because our last international trip traumatized us a bit too much. It was difficult figuring out how to pack as light as possible, but one thing we did was switch out our hatch sound machine for our tiny little sound machine we used the last time we traveled to Taiwan. I know the girls would have found more comfort with a hatch, but something had to give. And finally, here's our lineup. The diaper bag, carry on, our guava travel crib, the first check-in luggage, our check-in diaper bag, and the check-in plus luggage. We did a little practice round of who will be in charge of what to make sure it wouldn't be too overwhelming for each of us. This is my biggest tip for parents, to actually run through what checking in and going through security will look like. Because when you get there, stress levels go from zero to 100, and you better know what goes in where. And that's a wrap on our packing. It's stressful, but you're totally capable of it. Just keep your eyes on the destination and know that it'll all be worth it in the end. Make sure you subscribe to follow along as we make our trip overseas and we will see you in Taiwan.